Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Maria. How are you? I'm fine. Llegando de trabajar, no sé cómo se dice, pero llegando del trabajo. Just, just getting home. Okay, just getting home. Okay, good. And how was it work? ¿Cómo estuvo el trabajo? Good. <laughs> en lo que cabe bien. <laughs> bueno, la verdad, es que, la verdad es que hay bastante trabajo y... ¿Cómo se llama? Lo voy a decir en español. Okay. Okay. La verdad es que hay bastante trabajo porque estamos eh, a las puertas de la apertura de un nuevo restaurante que va a estar bajo mi cargo. Será uno de los que voy a supervisar. Entonces, es primera, ¿cómo se llama? Apertura en la que voy a participar en esta empresa. Así que tengo mucho que hacer, pero... Eh, ahorita sí trato de venir temprano para recibir las clases. Ayer la recibí en la oficina. Ah, ok. No, normalmente mi trabajo no es en oficina, pero hay un día que dedico a hacer las cosas administrativas. Ok. Entonces hoy sí me tocó, eh, ayer me tocó estar en, ¿En la oficina. Sí, en la oficina. Ok. ¿Y dónde va, a ver el, dónde va a haber el restaurante? En Santa Elena va a ser. Ajá. Donde estaba antes los cebollines. No, no, no sé exactamente dónde. Eh, quiero ver, enfrente de Plaza Madero, no sé si es Plaza Madero o cómo uh -huh. se llama la que está enfrente de ahí. Creo que es Plaza Madero. Ajá. Creo, 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 creo pero sí, en, en uh... es al, exactamente a la par de, de Dollar City de Santa Elena. Ah, viniendo okay. de la embajada americana hacia abajo. Ah, ya, 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 sí es cierto. Ajá. He visto que están construyendo ahí. Ah, pues ahí va a ser la nueva calaca. Ah, bueno. ¿Y para pero, cuándo tienen? Eh... Supuestamente, en teoría, el 18. Pero todavía están construyendo. No bueno, sabemos. Uh -huh. ha, ido, ha ido cambiando la fecha de la apertura. Pero sí, sí la verdad es que... Qué bien que terminamos la otra semana, ¿no? Porque sí. no quiera la, 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 la clase, pero, pero sí, en realidad, viene una temporada. Ya estamos en la temporada alta, uh -huh. pero ya desde viernes, viernes, sábado y domingo, los horarios son cosas serias sí, para mí. Me imagino. Así que ahorita estoy dedicando tiempo a esto y, y lo estoy disfrutando, la verdad. Ah, qué bueno, eso es lo importante. Sí, sí. Sí, así el otro año que, sí, pues, tiene la oportunidad, pues le mete ahí de nuevo la verdad es que curso. para mí este es un logro de veras porque quizás durante toda mi vida de, que, que tengo pues que si, siempre quise aprender inglés pero siempre mm. tuve el temor de qué va a pasar me daba pena, no sé, me da pena hacer el ridículo, <risa> la verdad sí, y, y eso me detuvo por muchos años, entonces ahora que se dio la oportunidad en la empresa para mí esto es un gran reto no sé nada de inglés por lo mismo. Tal vez entiendo un poco, pero no, no lo sé hablar. Uh -huh. y... pero, pero la verdad que esa es la única forma para poder ¿Sí? eh, aprender. O sea, es tirarse. Todos en algún punto estuvimos en el que no podíamos. ¿Verdad? En el que no sabíamos nada. Y pues ya con el tiempo, la práctica y todo está en eso. Pues, en perderle el miedo. Y pues, o sea, si al final todos nos, nos equivocamos, incluso hablando español. Sí, la verdad es que para mí esto es, lo disfruto por, por, por el hecho de que es algo que estoy superando a nivel personal. Sí. O sea, y siempre hay cosas que uno quiere hacer y que, y que se le hacen como más fácil. Sí. Entonces, eh, a mí me pasó con, la, con aprender a manejar. Yo recibí las clases, saqué la licencia. Y, y me daba miedo salir. Sacar el carro. Entonces, para mí esto es, es parecido, pues, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso es para mí un gran logro y lo disfruto. Aunque me cueste mucho, creo que en esta ocasión sí lo voy a lograr. Sí. Porque estoy decidida a superar este. Exacto. Esta, esta, esta que siempre lo he querido lograr. Así es que vamos a echarle ganas. Pues. Sí, no, es, de eso se trata. La motivación, eso está en, en, en de verdad hacerlo. No, no necesariamente porque, porque uno tenga el tiempo libre o porque no tenga nada que hacer, sino que por la disciplina en la cual uno quiere hacer las cosas. Si uno quiere sí, hacerlo, sí. se disciplina y lo logra. Sí. Así que sí, muy bien. Ahí estamos. Muy bien, María. Muchas gracias. Felicidades. <risa> <Okay>. Gracias. <risa>
Very good. So we have more people here. Hi, good evening. Kenny, Carolina, Jorge. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good Carolina. Evening, teacher. Good evening, good Kenny. Evening. Good evening, Jorge. How are you? Fine, fine. Very good. Excellent. Are you excited for Friday? Yes. Are emocionado for Friday? Yes, now. Yeah. Now's it's almost Friday, so definitely oh. super excited. <laughs> sí, hoy have, sí. <laughs> and do you have plans for the weekend? Tienen planes para el fin de semana? Yes. Trabajar. <laughs> Aparte, sí, también. Are you going to work on, on the weekend? ¿Van a trabajar el fin de semana? <laughs> Pero trabajan todo el fin de semana o just Saturday? Saturday. Until um, until noon. Until noon. Until noon. Uh, until hasta noon, mediodía. Uh, until noon. Noon, ajá. Uh -huh. All right. That's good. Excellent. All right. So. Uh, really? But. Yo todo el día. Cuando es todo el día, ¿cómo se dice? The whole day. Ah, the whole day. Mm -hmm. But you're going to rest you, on, on Sunday para descansar el, el domingo. No, trabajo. Oh, my God. All right. But you're going to have day off soon, but no el día libre pronto. Como el día de descanso lo dan entre semanas. Mm. Para viernes, sábado y domingo, como son los días que más se vende, mm -hmm. en centros comerciales o en, en los... Los puntos donde están, no descansamos viernes, sábado ni domingo. Ok. Bueno, pero ya pronto va a venir el día libre y ahí va a descansar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ay, sí. <laughs> All right. So, uh, good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, this is our 12th class. We are about uh, four classes to finish the first module the beginner number one. So uh, very good, congratulations everybody. You almost did it, so great, that's awesome. So we're gonna start uh, the class today. Let me um, share my screen here. Okay. So this is the topic that we are gonna see today, the present continuous. Um, this is a, it's not a complicated um, topic. It's a little bit easy to do it. Uh, we just need to be like, just doing the verbs and we're gonna see that later, all right? So in order for we can start, we're gonna continue with uh, Christmas activities and we're going to do this uh, Christmas world game. What we are going to do is, this is an unscramble uh, word, and you need to unscramble in order to find what's the word that it's in here, okay? So I need you to look at the, at the letters here, and here's a word, and I need you to guess what is the word. What do you think is the word? So look at the letters and try to make a sentence, uh, not a sentence, I'm sorry. I try to make a word with this. Santa Claus. Yes, <laughs> that's correct. That's the first one. Here's Santa Claus. Yeah. So yes, that's the first one. Good, Kenny. Excellent. What about this one? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Yeah, that was too easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. That's correct. What about this one? Uh, 
Nice. Yes, that's correct. Nice. Very good. What about this one? Milk. What? Milk. Milk. Yes, that's correct. And this one. Cookies. Yes. <laughs> good. Excellent. So Kenny and Maria on fire. Very good. Yes, that's a cookie. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. So we're going to go into matters now. As I mentioned at the beginning, we're going to talk about the present continuous. Do you have any idea about the present continuous? What do you think it's the present continuous? or how do we use it, or what do we use it for? Any idea? Uh, we use the present continuous when mm -hmm. we are making something and we are uh, walking about the, the, the present time okay. or just the, the, what are we doing in this moment, the present moment. Exactly, that's correct. Present continuous, it's to talk about things we are doing right now. Oscar? Uh, you're on mute. Uh, it's an action or condition is happening now. Exactly. That's correct. It's an action or condition that we are, that is happening right now. So it's in this exactly moment. So that's correct. So that's what we use in the present continuous for. In order to talk about things and activities that are happening right now. So let me show you here. And here we have some examples on how we use the present continuous. Uh, we use the present continuous to talk about actions that are occurring at the moment that we are speaking. And we have some examples. You are studying English. Today is snowing. The elephant is playing in the water and I'm listening to music. So the present continuous, el presente continuo, el continuo lo utilizamos para hablar cosas que están sucediendo ahorita. Cosas que están sucediendo exactamente right now. Ok, so para eso utilizamos el presente continuo y aquí tenemos unos ejemplos de cómo lo podemos utilizar. Uh, you are studying English. Today is snowing. The elephant is playing in the water and I'm listening to music. All right, so that's how we do it. So something that it's special here, it's the first thing. Uh, what... Uh, what verb or what tense are we using right now? ¿Qué verbo estamos utilizando con el presente continuo? Study. To be. What? Go to be. The verb to be. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. We are using the verb to be here. You see are, is, and am. So we're using the verb Y a la par del verb be, entonces utilizamos un verbo. Entonces el verbo, en este caso, para hacer un presente continuo, tiene que cambiar. ¿Y qué es lo que ven de diferente en cada uno de estos verbos a la par del verbo, del, del verb be? Added I-A-G. Exactly. There is an I-A-G next to the verb. So those are the two things that we're gonna check. So one of the important things here, it's this. The verb needs to go with ing. Tenemos que agregarle ing al verbo, eh, a la par del verbo, para que se convierta en un uh, present continuous. ¿Cómo sería eso en español? Es el ando y el endo. 
So, eh, en español, en español se llaman gerundios. Gerundios. Y se, ajá, ando, endo y yendo. Exactly. So that's that's this tense. A eso se, con eso utilizamos este este tiempo. Eh, aquí estamos diciendo you are studying, tú estás estudiando, está uh -huh. nevando, eh, está jugando and escuchando. So those are the the ing. It's what stands for in this verbs, and that's what we are going to be uh, putting and adding to the verbs. So in order to do that, there are some rules that we need to use in order to change those verbs. So for example, for the first one, verbs with one syllable ending in consonant, vowel consonant. Por ejemplo, tenemos run. Si tenemos un verbo que termina en sílaba, consonante, eh, perdón, eh, en consonante, vocal, consonante, entonces, por ejemplo, como run, vamos a double the last consonant and add ing. Si tenemos un verbo que termina en eh, consonante, vocal, consonante, que si es, perdón, que es de una sola sílaba y que es eh, consonante, vocal, consonante, entonces vamos a doblar la última consonante y agregamos ing. Y tenemos el ejemplo acá. Running. O sea, tenemos run, para run le agregamos una n más y le agregamos ing. ¿Ok? Esto okay. sucede con los verbos que son de una sola sílaba. Una sílaba es un conjunto de, de dos o tres palabras, dos o tres letras que forman una parte de, de una palabra. En este caso, run es una sola sílaba. Y es vo consonante, vocal, consonante. Consonantes son lo que no es una vocal. Y las vocales pues solo son cinco. So, any questions so far con la primera regla? Preguntas? Please make sure que si tienen una pregunta, let me know. Ok? No questions? No. Okay, let's go with the next one. <clears throat> Verse with two or more syllables with the stress on the first syllable. For example, listen, stress, es como podríamos decir el acento. Entonces, si tenemos un verbo con dos o más sílabas y el estrés o el, 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 el acento está en la primera sílaba. La voz fuerte. Por ejemplo, listen. Then we're just going to add ing. So le agregamos ing. Nothing change. It's just like that. En el siguiente, si tenemos un verbo with two or more syllables with the stress at the end of the of the of the syllables, I'm sorry, of, of the of the of, of the word. For example, here we have begin. So begin. Tenemos el stress al final, en gin. Entonces, en ese tipo de, de, de verbos, vamos a double the last consonant and add ing. Entonces, si, el, si tenemos un verbo de dos sílabas, pero el estrés está al principio, el acento está al inicio del verbo, únicamente le agregamos ing como cualquier verbo normal. Pero si tenemos un verbo siempre con dos sílabas, pero... El acento está al final del verbo. Así como en este caso, begin. Entonces vamos a double the last consonant. Vamos a doblar la última consonante. Y vamos a agregar ing. Y tenemos el ejemplo acá. Beginning. Entonces está begin. Agregamos otra n. ing. All right. When we have a verb that ends with ie. Por ejemplo, tenemos die here. Drop the IE and add YING. Si tenemos un verbo que termina en IE, le quitamos el IE, le agregamos una Y y le agregamos ING. Okay. We have here dying. All right. 
Next, when we have a verb that ends with an E, tenemos un verbo que termina con E. Le quitamos la E y le agregamos ING. Right? Right. right. Y por el resto de los, de los verbos que podamos encontrar, solamente agregamos ING. Work, working. Okay? And there are some exceptions. Eh, si un verbo termina en W, X, or Y, we don't double the consonant. No vamos a doblar la consonante final si termina en W, X, or Y. And we have here show, showing. Fix, fixing. Enjoy, enjoying. Okay? So, any questions so far? Preguntas? Hasta el momento? No. No? The rest? Questions? Uh, would you please send this, uh, this uh, image to the WhatsApp, please? Sure. Thank of you. Of course. Let me send it right now. So I will say it in, in a minute. I'm just gonna load here my my application and then I send it. Okay, thank you. Sure. Okay, so if there's no questions, then we're gonna go and practice what we just saw. And we have here a lot of verbs here. What I need you to do is to do the verb with ing do the verbs for present continuous in the last two sentences uh, you need to add the verb that is in the parentheses and you have to make it with ing okay so i'm gonna give you five minutes so you can complete it okay let me know once you're done solo le voy a robar un ratito acá para tomar la screenshot Y ya se los pongo de nuevo. Okay, there you go.
I have already sent you the the picture with the with the rules for the verbs in the in the WhatsApp group. So if you want to check it, it's there in the in the WhatsApp group as well. Okay, thank you. Sure. Let me know once you have finished. Okay, thank you, Oscar. Okay, two more minutes. Thank you, Jorge. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, Nelson. Okay, so we're gonna start. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna be doing one by one so we can be checking the verbs. Uh, let's start with the first one, number one, Catherine. Can you please say number one? Catherine? What about Jessica? Can you please tell me number one? Jessica, you there? Stephanie? Going. Can you please spell it? G. Mm -hmm. G. Oh, J. J. G. 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 Uh -huh. O. N. I. No. 
do it again. E. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I. Uh, go again. G. G. Uh -huh. O. Uh -huh. I. Uh -huh. N. I. N. G. Uh -huh. I N G. Exactly. Going. Very good. Thank you. Carolina. Calling. Okay. Um, Calling. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, David, number three. Swimming. Swimming. Can you please spell it? Can you spell swimming? Swimming. Swimming. Yes. Can you spell it? Uh, yep. Uh, is is mm -hmm. W mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. M M I N G. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Swimming with double M. Good. Very good. Kenny, number four. Me meeting. 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 Mm -hmm. Excellent. Number five, Jorge. Um, uh, climbing. Climbing, yes. That's correct. Okay. Number six, Maria. Pain. I'm pain. Sorry? pain. Pain. Yes, pain. P-A-Y-I-N-G. Excellent. Pain. 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 Yes. Pain. <laughs> pain. Great. Excellent. Uh, Martha. Um, coming. C O M I N G. Excellent. Good. Oscar. Same big team. Carrying. Can you spell? C A C A R R Y I N G. Excellent. Good. That's correct. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nelson. Number nine. Number nine, Nelson. It's smelling. Say it one more time. It's smelling. Can you spell it, please? S M I L A I N G. Can you say it one more time? S M I mm -hmm. L I I N uh -huh. G. Very good. Excellent. A smiling. Okay. Good. Thank you. Ronald, number 10. C uh, sorry. Coding. Mm -hmm. Can you spell it? C U T T I N G. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Thanks. Let's see. Um, uh, Relson. 11. Referring. Mm -hmm. Can you spell it? R E F E R I N G. Is it with one R or two R's? Uh, two two hours, sorry. Exactly, with two hours. Uh, I uh, I I want tell to 
to the group that I I listen the first uh, the girl the girl saying uh, going in and and nobody nobody uh, uh, tell the the one one correction or one uh, uh, alguna opinión para la chica porque creo que sí lo, lo ella se quedó con eso de que era going in. Uh, no, I think she spelled it going. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There yes. is your going. Yes, but no. Uh, she spelled it going in. Well, uh, well I, 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 I remember that I heard going. So, but if it wasn't the case, so yes, it's going. It's G O I N G. Uh -huh. Thank you, Elson. Okay. Then number 12, see, uh, Jorge, number 12. Teacher. Yes, go. The last, the last is W-R. Yes, with refer. Referring. Referring, yes, with double R. Okay. Um, playing. Playing. Yes, excellent. Uh, number 13, who wants to make number 13? Any volunteer for number 13? Teddy is completing all exercises. Very good. Teddy is completing all exercises. Good. And number 14. The cat is, the cat is eating the most. The cat is? Eating. Eating? Eating. No? No. Look at the verb. Chasing. Ah. Chasing. Ah. Okay, uh -huh. okay. Sorry. <laughs> so say it again. I, I, um, pensé que era libre. <laughs> no. I hice el otro. Sorry. <laughs> no, but it was correct. Pista. It was correct. Ahí está la pista, George. Say, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> at the sea board uh, <laughs> you're sleeping George <laughs> <laughs> sorry no worries okay, okay, can you say it again mm, the cat is uh, chasing the mouse chasing the mouse very good excellent good job so, and here we have the answers. Yeah, it's here. So, I just wanted to repeat after me, so we you can go ahead and, and, and practice the pronunciation as well with me. So, everybody repeat after me. Coin. 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 Calling. Coin. Calling. 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 Swimming. 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 Meeting. 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 Climbing. 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 Playing. 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 Coming. 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 Carrying. 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 Smiling. 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 Cutting. 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 Referring. 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 Playing. 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 Very good. So, do you have any questions so far with the how to make the verbs? Preguntas, no. ¿cómo hacer las, los verbos? Everything's good? Yes? Okay. Yes. Excellent. All right. So, 
Now, uh, this is the structure that we use in order to make a sentence. Uh, as you saw here in this last exercise, we had two sentences here, and this is the structure that we use. We're gonna use a subject. Do you remember the subjects? ¿Se recuerdan de los subjects? ¿Cuáles son los subject pronouns? Subject pronouns? ¿Cuáles son? You. I, you, she, he, it, we, you, they. they. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly, those are the subject pronouns. So we can use one of those or we can use a name. Podemos utilizar yes. un nombre o podemos utilizar the uh, subject pronouns that Marta said. So we can use that as a subject. Then we are going to use the verb V. And what is the verb V? We have three verbs, auxiliary verbs for verb V. ¿Cuáles son? Um, um, N. R is N. Falta uno. It's. It. No. <laughs> R is E. Um. Um. Exactly. Aquí utilizamos oh. solo con I. Oh. Um. Yes. So, um is an R. So, vamos a utilizar el verb B. And then, we're going to use the a verb, a regular verb, with ING. Que es lo que acabamos de hacer ahorita. And then, we're going to use a complex. Okay. And we have some examples here. You are listening to music. You, subject pronoun, are, verb to be, listening to, verb with ing, complement, music. He is playing video games. He, subject pronoun, is, verb be, playing, verb with ing, video games, complement. Okay? So, with that being said, let's do some exercises here. We're gonna make some sentences and the first eight sentences just going to complete it with the verb that is in the parenthesis. Solo van a completar con el verbo que está en el parenthesis. Utilizando verb B and the verb with ing. Y las últimas dos van a ser dos sentences, three sentences, with the verb that is inside of the parenthesis, okay? So let me give you uh, three minutes so you can complete it, okay? Let's go. If you have a question, let me know. Enjoy. I'm sorry. Bring. Do you have a question? Uh, do you have a question, Nelson, or you finished? Oh, sorry.
One more minute. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, Stephanie. Okay, so let's start. We're gonna do it uh, together so we can be checking there. Thank you, David. All right, so we have number one. Uh, Stephanie, go with number one. Dennis is swapping. Uh -huh. Swapping comments with Peter at the moment. Very good. Excellent. Great. Thank you. David, number two. Big uh, Amy. No. Listen. Pete and Joe. Screaming. Can you say it again? Uh, listen, Pete and Joe screaming. Okay, there's something missing there. Solo una cosa le hace falta ahí. The auxiliary verb. Uh -huh. Remember the structure. Utilizamos subject, luego verb, verb with ing, y por último el complemento. Uh, and ¿Cómo sería entonces? Uh -huh. uh, is uh. Is es para singular. Pete y Joe son qué? ¿Cómo son uh, dos personas? Uh, Plurales. Uh, Exacto. ¿Y cuál utilizamos para plural? Uh. 
Omar. Okay. This one, Peter and Joe are screaming. Very good. Excellent. Good, David. Good job. Uh, Maria, number three. This uh, Timmy is packing, 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 packing the picnic basket. Excellent. That's correct. Carolina, number four. Look, they shaking hands. Okay. Le falta también una cosa ahí. Recuerde la estructura. Subject, verb, verb with ing, and complement. Mm, look, they are shaking hands. Excellent. Good job, Karina. They are shaking hands. Great. Oh, sorry, teacher. Yes. Uh, it, it could be it could be saying uh, look they are shaking their hands yes that's correct too okay mm -hmm. good number five uh, relation to number five i i am having a bath right now excellent thank you relation uh, Daniela, number seven. I'm sorry, number six. Uh, okay. We are uh, collecting mm -hmm. a sum from the school. Yes, that's correct. Good. Thank you. Uh, Jessica, you there? I think she's having issues maybe with that. So, Martha. Listen, Angela is coming home. Good. Oscar. The cat is climbing through the window. Very good. Excellent. Kenny, nine. Uh, they, they are stealing the book. Okay, they are still in the book. Good. <laughs> and Jorge, number 10. Okay. I'm going to take a cough cup. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and is that true? No. You need it. You need it, George. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. So, that's basically how we use the, the present continuous with the verb B and the verbs with ING. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make a reading activity. This is what we can finish. This is a uh, reading activity <coughs> where we are using the present continuous. So uh, we're gonna start from here. Let's see. Uh, Stephanie, can you please read the first part? It's a rainy Saturday. Saturday. It's rain. That go? Saturday. 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 Me decir tú es ru. Saturday. Saturday. Uh -huh. Saturday. Yep. It's a rainy Saturday. It's uh -huh. raining a lot. And Mary and her family are spending the spending. afternoon spending uh -huh. the afternoon at the afternoon. home after the afternoon afternoon at uh -huh. home. Good. Thank you. Here. <laughs> Thank you, Martha. Continue. Her uncles are visiting them, Mary and her father are in the living room. Thank you. Relson. Uh, Mary is making a draw and her father. Mr. Harris is, is surfing the net. Thank you. Jorge.
George, wake up. How do you he go? Went for, he went for the cup of coffee. <laughs> no, like that. Um, okay. They are? They are also talking to uh, Mary's older brother. Peter is in his bedroom uh, playing computer games. Thank you. Kenny. He is a computer fanatic and he spends MOOC. Uh, no, it's much, but the, the age much. is here. Yeah. <laughs> <There's> okay. <the> <laughs> He is a computer fanatic and he spends much time playing on the computer. Thank you. Daniela, continue. <laughs> <laughs> His little brother and Dean is also in the living room. Continue. Yeah. He is <laughs> playing. <laughs> he is playing with his dinosaur collection. Dinosaurs. Dinosaur collection. Thank you. Uh, Oscar. Oh, sometimes, really, right? Sometimes, yes. Yeah. Okay, sometimes he teases Mary. He is a really naughty boy. Naughty. Mary is naughty. Naughty. Naughty, uh -huh. naughty boy. Mary's mother, Mr. Harris. Mrs. Mrs. Murray, Mrs. Harris. Uh -huh. Is in the kitchen preparing a snack for all of them. Thank you. Ronald, continue. He's making some tea and talking to Mary's uncle. Thank you. Carolina, continue. Lucy and Ton, they are from the nearest. Nearest. Ton. Nearest town. Nearest town. Town. Nearest town. Con a town. Nearest town. Uh huh. And it stopped. It stopped. By, stopped. And it stopped by to say hello. Thank you. Uh, let's see, yeah. Maria. Maria, you there? Fluffy, uh -huh. the family cat, is, is sleeping mm -hmm. on the kitchen sofa. Mm -hmm. We can see him in the pictures, but he is a true fluffy cat. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. So on this, cover, on this uh, uh, reading, we can see exactly what they are doing right now in the moment. Podemos ver exactamente lo que están haciendo right now, because everything here, it's in present continuous. So let's answer these questions. Question number one. Uy, esas son las respuestas. <laughs> Question number one. <laughs> ya les di la respuesta, pero creo que no la pierden. O si no, no prete teacher. pretendan que no la pierden. <laughs> teacher, teacher. <laughs> I need a cup of coffee. Yes, Rezon. Uh, in the previous image, uh -huh. why kitchen sofa? Because it's the sofa of the kitchen. Kitchen? Uh -huh. Cocina? Yep. Es el sofa de la cocina. Oh, qué raro un sofá en la cocina. Uh, <laughs> gringo, uh, gringos, gringos are weird. Yeah, <laughs> gringos are weird. <laughs> sí, nosotros no tenemos ahí sofá en la cocina. <laughs> Todo grasoso. Apenas Todo grasoso. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Apenas uno cae para cocinar. <laughs> But a good observation there. <laughs> All right, so let's answer this question. What day of the week it is? Is that a question? Saturday? Yes. Saturday. Okay, now say the complete sentence. It, 
it is mm -hmm. Saturday. Excellent. It is Saturday. Yes. Where is Mary? At the kitchen. She? No. She's at the kitchen. You sure? I. <laughs> <laughs> she is pre preparing. Preparing. In the kitchen. No. In the kitchen. No. The dinner or what? No. <laughs> She is, she is at home. Okay, she's at home. Good. She's at home. That's correct. In the living room. And she is in the living room. Excellent. Very good. What is she doing? She's doing she's cooking. What? What is she doing? She's doing, is cooking. Okay, she is? Cooking. Doing, is cooking. Ahí está utilizando dos verbos. Sí. A vez, um, pero tiene que ser uno. Haciendo, cocinando. Ajá. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. So, tiene que ser uno de los dos. She's cooking. Exactly. She's cooking. She is cooking. But is she cooking? Está cocinando? Mayores de 18 años. The river? Dirección de espectáculos públicos, radio y televisión. She's doing something else. Okay. Do you remember? She is. Uh -huh. You know what is this? Training. Making a draw. Exactly. Writing. Making a draw, but draw it's the verb. Oh. So, ¿cómo sería? Drawing. What? Drawing. Exactly. She is? Drawing. She is making a draw. She's making a draw or she is drawing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. And what, what is Mr. Harris doing? They are preparing a snack for all of them. No, that was Mrs. Harry. Hmm? This is Mr. Harry. Oh, Mr. Harris. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Harry are preparing this not for all of them. <laughs> no, Mr. Harris was or oh, Mr. Harry is surfing in the net. Oh, cool. Yes. And what made, is Fluffy the cat doing? I made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> no worries. The cat is sleeping in the kitchen so far. <laughs> exactly. That's correct. That's correct. Good job. You did it. Great. So basically, that's it. That's speaking and writing and talking with the present continuous. Do you have any questions so far? Tiene alguna pregunta? No. No. Nope. Okay. Very good. So that was the class for today. We're going to see on Monday. Remember, no tenemos clases mañana. Until Monday next week, it's the last, uh, the last week of the module. So make sure to do the exercise in the platform, please. Okay. All right. So thank you very much for being here. Uh, I really hope you have a very nice weekend. Enjoy it. Uh, take a rest. And we're going to see you on Monday. Okay? So okay. thank you very much. Take care. Take care, take care everybody. Good night. Thank uh, good you. Night. Good night, everybody. Good night, Bye. teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. See you Monday.